Hey guys, I'm the Fact Freak and welcome to part two in the Way Too Feisty For You deep dive series. Now a quick recap of where we left off in part one. By the way, if you haven't seen part one, what are you doing here? I suggest you back out and you check part one out immediately. But for the rest of us, obviously at the end of deep dive part one, we were showing how close Feisty mingles with well-known sex offenders and convicted pedophiles. Now, we will continue to expose the kind of people she hangs around with and the mental manipulation techniques that she uses in this video. And now the boring bit. As you know, guys, sharing, liking and commenting really does help push out videos and help with awareness. So yeah, please help me. <laughs> Now, of course, after looking at this message in the last deep dive, where Feisty says that basically she doesn't agree with pedophile hunting teams, we kind of get a real understanding of the kind of person she is. But would you believe that she tried to pretend to be a hunter to try and, I don't know, trick me, manipulate me? Did yeah, set up a Twitch account called Tom Sees and he loved Tom. Pretending to be a paedophile hunter. She then also said that she was stinging people from her own team. Like, she's absolutely vile. Does she really think that's a win? Now, you've got to remember that Feisty says I'm obsessed. However, she was creating accounts like this to watch me. This is the account on Instagram, Tom Says, and she joined my group chat for my Twitch viewers. When I got the heads up who this was, I removed them and they sent this message. I was removed from the chat. I've only just seen the messages. What do you need me to send them? So then I said to them uh, a video saying, Hi, Fact Freak. Also, what hunting team are you in? Now they said, Ah, oh, no can do, pal. My face can't be out there with the team. If I turn up to meet a nonce and they've seen my face, pal, they will bolt. So I asked, what team are you in then? They then said, I've said I work the doors and go along to Stings as backup in Scotland for a few groups that do it in my part-time, pal. Is something the matter? I just asked, what were some of the teams that they'd done security for? Is there a reason I need to tell you? I said, if you wish to remain in the chat, yes. If you don't, it's not a problem, and I wish you well. Goodbye. No bother, mate. I feel it a bit intrusive. I'm happy to stay out of the chat, or do you want me off Twitch too? To which I said, we are done now, and I blocked them on Twitch. Now, if that doesn't show manipulation and stalking by way too feisty, I don't know what will. Now, of course, that isn't the first time that Way Too Feisty has got involved pretending that she's involved within paedophile hunting. Now, you might know yourselves, guys, the paedophile Stephen Loveday that I exposed over on TikTok and chased off the app. Now, this has always been a sore spot for way too feisty and it's always been a sore spot for way too feisty because the upshot of it is is she moderated for them she backed them and it wasn't it wasn't until i went live with her and said no this person is convicted that she then flipped the script to protect herself now listen to what she says here about me choosing to warn as many people as possible when I discovered that they'd gone back online. And from a different place, so um, there's a lot of stuff that I never told facts. There's a lot of stuff that I haven't said since. So obviously, he came on the other day saying that Love Day's on. Puff have known that Love Day. Puff is plenty of fish. A dating website where yes. Holly Stanley, convicted pedophile, had turned up on it. Somebody had informed me and I made a video immediately. He's been on dating sites for about three months now. Um, everybody knew about the Fet Life one. Um, 
Everyone knew about the FetLife one because that's where you got the indecent images of that person and then spread them around on group chats, as we've already seen evidence for on TikTok. But the other dating sites have known of those accounts for ages, but now they've gone because somebody opened their mouth um, and there was decoys speaking to him. Oh, there we go, guys. Feisty's running decoys. Running decoys like paedophile hunters. Right to find out where he was and what was going on but that got ruined because somebody was like look they're on path and now they've gone again um but they will pop up again and the the, the will pop up again and they will be found again um they will end up speaking to decoys again um because initially there was 15 decoys speaking to it 15 decoys. Feisty reckons not only was she setting up decoys on Stanley, but she also had 15 on them. Um, <laughs> a little down to two. Must have realised that the 15 number sounded fucking ridiculous. Um, but it will happen again and they will be found again um, and their location will be disclosed to those that need to know it so it won't be disclosed here. And who needs to know that, Feisty? It won't be disclosed to the masses. It'll be disclosed to schools in the areas, families who are close by, and the local police force. Which is completely... I mean, look, she looks really fucking smug, but this is completely the wrong thing to do. Love Day is not under any shopple restrictions, so he's not on a register. So informing schools and the police, they'll just say... Right, what the hell do you want us to do with that information? No, what you do is what I did, Feisty, which is put a video out and warn people that they were active in trying to get into relationships with people. And that that's that. Like, I don't need to go over this whole Nancy thing over and over again. But like I was saying, I never wanted to be the face of that. I just give truth to her. She was never the face of it. Never the face of it. What happened was somebody contacted us called Truth Tattler, who passed on an email of details for Leeds Crown Court. I went and verified it. Feisty went live instead and said it was probably bollocks and defended a little pedo friend. I mean, maybe she's talking about when Maz and her tried to decoy Holly Stanley themselves after they'd been exposed. But you'll see here in a group chat, they are talking about, you know, she wants to change her number because it's going to be texting Holly Stanley. Um, it's absolutely insane. But I mean, they did post up some pictures of Holly Stanley's place that they got from them. And Tattle Life called them out on their bullshit and how stupid it was because they weren't really getting any information. It just seemed that they were making nice with a pedophile. Which, when you think about the fact that Feisty is still defending and in a group with somebody who is in a sexual relationship with a pedophile, Kirsty Orange and Stephen um, Lancaster, it doesn't shock me. And it shouldn't shock you guys now to know that Feisty will hang around with anybody, regardless of any crime, especially if she can gaslight and use them. Which brings me on to Chris Emery. Now, of course, we all know who Chris Emery is after I exposed him and did a deep dive on him myself. He is a convicted S.O. As you can see there, teacher humiliated by ex-posting revenge porn. That is that Chris Emery. So, of course, we already know that Feisty got in touch with Chris Emery and tried to be buddy-buddy but would you believe she actually tried gaslighting the man into, obviously, doing a live about me, talking about me, all those sort of things. But wait, she told everybody else that she's, she's not that close with him. Uh, she couldn't have possibly done this. Well, let me introduce you guys to Fraudulent Slip. Is that just the way to face the to be? That was, of course, Emery saying, well, I said this to Way Too Feisty today. Bear in mind, guys, that was just a few days ago. She's saying she's scared, but I'm not going to say she's lying. She's scared for her life because she's going in on her now. She's had to flee. Fired him up to do this, to use him as a weapon, and told him what? That you had to... 
she's had to flee, which is something, another gaslighting, because remember Feisty was beforehand gaslighting everybody and saying that I would come for them. Now it's sympathy, gaslighting, I'm in fear, I'm in trouble, I'm in terror. Now Chris, what she did was she used you. And while we're talking about gaslighting and gaslighting vulnerable people, let's not forget how feisty felt about Princess Flu. I need me interim uh, stalk and prevention order put in place. I've been begging and asking for ages. Like, I feel ill. It's making us ill. It needs to stop. Somebody needs to help us. The police are supposed to protect and serve. I'm not being protected here. I'm being hounded. Hounding me and making my life hell. He's making us ill. I've dropped two and a half stone since September last year. Like, I'm, he's making me physically ill. Now, of course, we all know that was Aisha Auckland, aka Way Too Feisty for You, calling the police on Princess Flu while live streaming. you got to get those gifts there, Feisty. But anyway, just like Chris Emery, she's tried to weaponize flu so she's tried to manipulate flu to obviously then come at me flu's obviously had enough and decided to go to his local police force and tell them hey this person got me arrested said i was harassing them but now this is going on now i haven't heard this particular clip but i understand we can hear feisty talking to him this is aisha this, that was a phone call I just made then. She's meant to be petrified. Petrified with me. Hello, are you right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I just want to know, is that definitely his name? Yeah. Is that definitely his name? That's talking about me. Okay, because I'm at the uh, police station now. I'll give you an update um, once I finish. But don't, don't say anything, I'm live. No, no, I won't. All right, then. All right. Sorry, bye-bye. She won't because she thought she could do all of this puppetry and manipulation just like always without people finding out. She's meant to be petrified of me. Really petrified. Why are you saying to her, don't tell anyone? Because she thinks she's trying to get me to, obviously, if I went, I'm going to go. This cop's thick. Police station about you. She's going to get a bit defensive, isn't she? So if I lead her to believe I'm going to the police station for my cows... Is that what you told me? Yeah, and then it's... That's fueling the fire, though. Well, of, of course you would say that, because you don't want, you don't want to investigate it. You'll do, the police will do anything in their situation. So yeah, once again, proved that Aisha Auckland has no issue going and manipulating others and weaponising them against people she doesn't like. Now we all know by now as well, Feisty loves a troll account. Feisty absolutely loves a troll account, especially when it's trying to push her own narrative and agenda. So since we've been calling her out for the bed slug that she is, an account cropped up called Bed Slug. Now what's suspicious about this, guys, is the kind of messages they've been sending out to people. Now, of course... It flagged up massively with the kind of people that were following and who they were trying to message. We were getting things like this where they were trying to say that they were shitting on Feisty, but also saying that, hmm, even though I think she's terrible, she's often right about things like this, etc., etc., this is absolutely ridiculous and another clear attempt at trying to feed people false information to see if they'll report on it. Good try, bed slug. Now, of course, she was recently outed off the back of this video. Now, this is a video where she tags her account and says, Hey, I'm currently using these accounts, but if you click on one of them, it's this account. She tried to explain this in the most ridiculous way possible. Now, if you look at that account, it hasn't been active for ages. Hasn't been active for ages. Uh, but she tried to say that she randomly messaged this person. Randomly messaged somebody out of the blue with no idea who this person is and said, Do you need an account, lovely? Give me five to grab my other... Right, okay, you've got an account past a thousand views or whatever the hell you need or whatever it is. Why are you randomly offering them out to other people? 
doesn't make sense. Now, Feisty has a massive history of creating accounts under the anonymous hashtag to troll people. Now, she was publicly called out and, as usual, she tried to come up with some bollocks. And, of course, she created accounts to pretend to be me to troll people. Here is two separate, two separate chats of her admitting to doing this. It's me trolling him. Shush, I'm fact 16. But, of course, we know Feisty talks a load of crap. We know that for sure. And she forgets who she's bragged about her bullshit to. I mean, listen to this story as she tries to explain why she no longer fosters children. My fostering career is no longer, no more, right? I will not be fostering anymore. I was assaulted shortly before, so in in August 2019, I was assaulted by the 15-year-old, um, which led to a root nerve compression in my C-spine, a prolapse in T10, which is why I'm actually registered as disabled. I've got a loss of grip in my right hand. I've got a loss of sensation and sometimes loss of feeling. In but why did that child attack you, Feisty? In my right leg um, I struggle with PTSD because of that and because of everything that went on within the fostering um, look at that um, now if anybody studied body language you'll know that that is a sign that is a sign of trying to think trying to grab a story hmm. I have done nothing on this app to warrant people wanting to find out my past uh, you definitely have i have done nothing on this app to warrant people to come at me with hate I you ripped off a charity this is my polite reminder in deep dive number two that in the last deep dive we proved that maz fixed a bonnet with something that cost about 40 pounds in the raised hundreds i'll just remind everyone of that i've done nothing within my career as a foster carer within my career as I don't believe you. She's a barmaid within my time as a mum. It's weird because she used to say she was a bar manager. Mom within my time is is feisty on this app. I have done nothing <laughs> to warrant people to say you're this, you're that, you're the other. You're a bully, you're a gaslighter, you're horrible, you're a slug. I've done none of that. I've done none of that. Oh, Claire, I know they don't have anything. I know they don't have my best interests at heart. I know they don't. I have done nothing for you to go out and say you're going to speak to my ex-wife who has caused emotional damage to my eldest child. We are going to get on to the ex-wife very soon. It's terrible what she says about her with zero evidence. By just disappearing out of his life. I tell you now, anyone that contacts my ex-wife, anyone that contacts my ex-wife, Shame on you, because you're contacting someone who mentally fucked me and who's caused upset to my child, who's upstairs in bed poorly. I don't want... Is he poorly because she left? ...anyone on this app to think... Maybe it's the chain smoking. He's upstairs. <coughs> ...think that they've got something over me they haven't. Nobody's got anything over us because I'm an open book and everybody knows my truth. I've got not my truth. How about just the truth? Try that out. Nothing to hide, and I've got nothing to be ashamed of, and I've got nothing to be worried about, and that's why I'm quite confident in going after other people's truths. Now, seems as though Feisty brought up the abusive ex-wife. Uh, let's talk about it. Now, Feisty's gone online numerous, numerous times and played victim and said that she was at the hands of an abusive ex-partner, her ex-wife. She even had the gall to set up a GoFundMe for over a £100,000, titling it Financial Abuse, so claiming that the wife was also financially abusive. Now, the reality of it is, as this comment confirms, Feisty currently has a non-molestation order against her. Against her by the ex-wife, probably because of the vile stuff that she spits that I'm going to show you in a moment. 
Now, she says in this comment that it was completely fruitless to contest it. No, no it isn't. You see, if you believe that you are innocent, it's very easy to contest. Uh, or you can even go and just contest the restrictions that may be put in place. But anyway, let's hear what, what's been said. I can say that because that's the truth and I'm not saying it to cause undue alarm, harassment and distress. Yeah, we all know that if you say that you're not trying to cause alarm and harassment and everything, the police will look at it and go, she said she wasn't, so there's no way what she's saying now could be. Jesus. What you're doing is causing undue harm, harassment and distress. So leave me the fuck alone, tell your missus, your mates, and all of the kids to stop fucking mo- Talking about the ex-wife here. I'm fucking done, Michelle. No, you are. No, 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 no. I know you are, but you're on live. Don't forget. Come on. It's all right. We're here, though, isn't it? Setting a cushy house. I know, I know, babe. Everything on the go. This is ridiculous. Like, Feisty has been evicted now, I think, from the house that belonged to the ex-wife. And Feisty feels so entitled that she had the right to live there. She did not have the right to live there rent-free, mortgage-free, or for anybody on bloody social media to pay for it for you via a GoFundMe or donations. And it's me and the kids who are going to be fucking here. No, come on, babe. Fucking here. I know, babe, come on, come on. I think the feeling's probably mutual, hence why she's got a non-molestation order. Down. Is this manipulation? Don't give her anything else oh. to use on you. She uses everything anyway, watches us. I, I know, I know. She gets off on the fact that I'm like this. She gets off on the fact that she's making her kids work. Why do you have to come online and do this, Feisty? I mean, the, whoever put the violins behind it, it's exactly, it kind of, it screams, feel sorry for me, gift me, I'm losing my house, the terrible wife, just more manipulation. And all this deep dive has proved so far is the manipulation constantly by this woman. No mention of anybody else, Feisty, just you. It's fucking evil, just like you. Come on, babe. She's evil. I know, it takes I know, one babe. fucking phone call and let us speak to them. One phone call. Well, selfish people are always going to be that way. Just, <laughs> karma will come from him, that is right, Frankie, absolutely. But Karma did come round for the person who was in the blame here, and that was feisty. <laughs> Don't say too much on here, babe. <laughs> That's pointless giving her that advice. If you need to rant, <laughs> ring me. I'll, I'm going to ring you after Miss Red's live, actually. So, yeah, constantly slagging the ex-wife off online with zero substance or evidence that that woman was ever financially abusive or abusive. But, in fact, she's under a non-molestation order currently to get her to shut the hell up about her. Now, it hasn't been easy for Feisty since Deep Dive Part 1 dropped. Uh, like Chris Emery said earlier on, she's been on the run. But why has she been on the run? Oh, food shopping once, so no something. <laughs> I got grief when I was in Grimsby. Um, I got some grief the day that I left. A woman gave us a mouthful of abuse. In Someone gave her a mouthful of abuse based on seeing my video. In Asda. In Asda, of all places. You think you're safe doing the groceries and then bang. But does it get worse? And somebody assaulted us in the bakery. Somebody assaulted her in the bakery. In the bakery. Can we listen to that again? We assaulted us in the bakery. It was a lead pipe in the living room. <laughs> Fucking Cluedo, what the hell is she talking about? based on what he said. Scotland's a very beautiful, beautiful place. Ah, Scotland. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh yes, she made a ditch attempt at trying to fool everybody that she ran away to Scotland. 
by tagging herself in a rather dramatic Facebook status. However, once I proved that you can basically tag yourself anywhere from any location, this status uh, was questioned immediately. Also, the thing is, she claims to have left her property before she was evicted. That would cause issue for her when it came to getting housing, as she had voluntarily made herself homeless by making that move. Just like most liars, she ain't very bright. So I suppose you're wondering at this point, who even follows Way Too Feisty anymore? Who even listens to her crap? Well, vulnerable people. Vulnerable people. And if you're called vulnerable, it is not a slam. Somebody's not having a go at you. People can be put in vulnerable positions by being gaslit. Um, people could also be in vulnerable positions if they suffer from mental health issues. There is a wide spectrum of what makes somebody vulnerable. So I mentioned the fact that I believe that the only people that she has left fit into that category. And I spoke about this particular lady. Feisty jumped at the chance to say, I've not posted much in response, have I? You can't respond if you've got no evidence, Feisty. Uh, yet, I've had it all day with my name and his exes in his mouth. Careful, Jane. Apparently, you're vulnerable and I'm taking advantage of your vulnerability. I don't think she was expecting this response. <sighs> Yes, I am vulnerable. Yes, I am vulnerable. Yeah. Well, there we have it, guys. That is the end of Deep Dive Part 2 on We're Too Feisty. And what we've done there really is prove just how manipulating she can be and also the sort of people that she has no issue hanging around with and weaponising either against other people let's also not forget that money was raised for a charitable cause as we covered in deep dive part one and they used it to repair Mazza's bonnet it cost about 40 pounds and we're still waiting to know where's the rest of the money now <laughs> i'm sure you guys will probably want a lot more information and i still have a lot more to put out there Unlike we're too feisty, as we've seen, literally no evidence. Must be a big, big police case coming. Anyway, guys, all the usual links of how to support me are below. Thank you so much for watching the video, and you know what to do with awareness and how to help. Hit that like button, comment, call me a twat in the comics if you fancy it, uh, and share it out. Peace.